Alright, so today guys, we're going to be reviewing Inform Freddy Guarine. He plays for Inter in the Serie A. He's six foot tall, he's right footed, he's got high medium work rates, a three star weak foot and four star skills. Now looking at his in games, he's stand out to his 95 shot power, 91 long shots, 90 strength, 85 dribbling and 85 free kick accuracy. We've also included all of the upgrades over his non-inform as a comparison for you, so you can see each individual stat increase of every stat. So you can always pause the video for a closer look at any of these now. So we were using Inform Guarine as a cam in a 4-2-3-1 gold and silver mix Serie A team. We're also trying out Inform Babacar up top as well, so we'll probably do a review on him as well. Now most of you already know how good the non-informed Guarian is and I've got to say straight away this card is absolutely amazing. I absolutely love using informed Guarian. Amazingly it had semi-decent pace boost as well. Normally you only get a plus one pace boost but he's up to 82 acceleration and 82 sprint speed so he's got a plus three on both of them and he does feel pretty damn nippy as well in game. His dribbling is stunning as well. He can stop and turn on a dime. He's got great dribbling. So it's perfect for when you're getting through heavy part of the bus traffic, when the defenders are crammed in the box, he's got great dribbling to dance in and out through the defenders. And he does have amazing strength as well, so when he does get hassled and crowded out, he still is able to actually bump off the defenders, hold them off and still carry on on his dribbling. And then there's his shooting, and boy there's his shooting, 91 long shot and 95 shot power, which gives him an absolutely beastly shot. He's got an absolutely insane long shot for me. Possibly, for distance wise, one of the best long shotters in the game. Probably the best I've tried. Quagliarella had a nice long shot and Totti. But this guy can just tank him in from even near the halfway line. If you think you're too far out to shoot, you're not with Guarine. I did notice as well, even with his long shot, he does have a low trajectory long shot as well. Still manages to blast it around the keeper on a low trajectory. So, great finishing from outside the box. Absolutely amazing. And what I was trying to concentrate on as well, let me know about his long shots, but I was trying to dribble and finish as well, trying to dribble through the defenders, and this was great as well. As we said, he's got great dribbling to get in and out through the defenders. And also he has such great well-rounded stats as well, which I love, which makes him so versatile on the pitch. So he can play pretty much any position you put him in on the pitch. I definitely recommend him as a cam though, you want to get him up front, make most of uh, his abilities up front, even as a centre forward, and because as well he does have great passing to help with his creative game as well, he is an absolutely complete midfielder, he's the all round midfielder, absolutely amazing in the middle of the pitch, and was banging in the goals for us, he was absolutely on a tour, he just kept banging him in every game, does have the bonus of his 4 star skills as well, so he is able to add the skills into his dribble as well great great player so let's have a look at Inform Quarine's performance stats for us so in seven games he scored 13 goals and got four assists which is a great return in my opinion for a midfielder 13 goals from midfield is what you want great goal scoring record all stats are on the left goals are on the right position map bottom right shows you where goals were scored and assists were created as well so overall we're giving Inform Quarine an amazing 9.8 out of 10 a truly amazing player a complete midfielder he certainly has everything you want. He's got good pace, amazing shooting, got the passing, strength, and he's got a decent defensive capability, which I forgot to mention. He is not too bad. Looking at that card stat, don't be concerned about the 69 uh, defending. It's just his marking that brings it down a bit. He has got a great stand and slide tackle and aggression. So you should be able to play him anywhere from a CDM through to a striker, really, in the team. He can suit any position perfectly. He is a definite, definite must-try player. Easily one of my favourites so far in this game. So finally, let's look at his positives and negatives. Just a quick rundown. So at great pace. He's got an amazing shooter, especially his long shots. Got good passing for a creative game. Got his great strength to hold off the defenders. Throw in his four-star skills as well, which does make his dribbling really good. Really nice at dribbling in and out of defenders. And obviously, he is the complete midfielder. Great at everything. All-round player. Only negatives, and this is being absolutely picky, is the three-star weak foot. We still did manage a couple on his left, but if we're being ultimately picky, if he had four star, four star would be oof, absolutely amazing. Although he is absolutely amazing as he stands. So highly, highly recommend you go out and try this player. Absolutely, you must try him. Price is high at the minute, obviously release night. 
I think he's currently around 200k, but he will drop a lot, especially with this team of week, Messi. There's going to be a lot of packs open. He should be dropping a lot. So hopefully you did enjoy this review. Hopefully it helped out a lot. If you did, please leave a like. It does help out the channel a lot. We're trying to grow as much as we can. We try to do the most in-depth reviews as we can. Please check out all the other reviews on the channel. Loads more to come, so stay tuned for them. Cheers, lads. Peace.